In a world we rarely notice, armies march, hunters crawl, and killers wait inches away. Here, survival is ruthless. And power comes in the smallest forms. Welcome to the world of mini monsters. We begin our countdown with a creature that has mastered the art of survival. A creature that's not a killer, but a master at surviving the killers. The millipede. It's an armored tank moving through the forest floor. A living fortress that testifies to the power of pure defense. Unlike its fast-moving venomous cousins, most millipedes are detritivores, the silent recyclers of the underworld. They chew through decaying leaves and wood, returning vital nutrients to the soil. But living life in the slow lane makes you an easy target. So, when danger strikes, the millipede's strategy is a marvel of efficiency. It doesn't run, it transforms. Its body instantly coils into a tight, impenetrable spiral, protecting its vulnerable head and soft underbelly. Its tough, calcified exoskeleton becomes a shield that few predators can penetrate. But this armor is just its first line of defense. If a predator keeps pushing, the millipede unleashes chemical warfare. From glands lining its body, it secretes a foul-smelling and often toxic chemical cocktail. Substances like benzoquinones and even hydrogen cyanide create a noxious cloud that repels ants, birds, and even small mammals. It's a powerful message to the world's hunters. I am not worth the trouble. In the brutal economy of nature, the millipede survives not by killing, but by making itself too costly to be killed. From a master of defense, we turn to a predator that is never, ever alone. A single ant is a soldier. A colony is an army. Alone, an ant is a marvel of biological engineering. But together, they form a super organism. A single coordinated intelligence with millions of bodies capable of reshaping entire landscapes. Their success comes from unparalleled teamwork, a collective mind driven by a complex language of chemical signals. When a scout finds a food source, whether it's a fallen beetle or a caterpillar many times its size, it lays down a pheromone trail. Within minutes, that trail becomes a highway of relentless hunters. This isn't just a chaotic mob, it's a calculated assault. Some ants pin the prey's legs, others attack its head, while soldiers with powerful mandibles begin to dismember the victim. Their combined strength lets them overwhelm creatures that a lone predator would never dream of challenging. They aren't just a part of the ecosystem. In many places, they are the ecosystem. Controlling insect populations with a level of organization that is both terrifying and awe-inspiring. 
While ants overwhelm with numbers, our next predator is both an artist and an executioner. It's a creature that builds its own weapon and then waits patiently for the trap to spring. This is the spider. For millions of years, they've perfected the art of the ambush, turning simple silk into one of nature's most effective traps. The classic orb web is an engineering masterpiece, a matrix of non-sticky scaffolding threads and a spiral of sticky capture threads to ensnare prey. The spider often waits at the edge of its web, one leg resting on a signal line. It may be blind to the world, but it can read every single vibration in its silken universe. When a fly or a bee blunders into the web, its frantic struggles send a tremor down the signal line. The message is clear, dinner has arrived. The spider dashes out, its movements precise and economical. It doesn't need to see its prey. It feels its exact location through the web. The final act is swift and merciless. Using its venomous fangs, known as chelicturae, the spider delivers a neurotoxin that paralyzes the victim almost instantly. The struggle stops. Its components help to liquefy the prey's internal tissues until it becomes a nutrient-rich slurry that the spider can drink. It's a brutal, efficient process. Proof of a predator that has mastered architecture, patience, and poison. From a master of silk, we turn to a master of stillness. This is the praying mantis, an ambush predator that has turned patience into a deadly weapon. Its famous praying posture is a hunting stance with serrated forelegs folded and ready to strike. A mantis relies heavily on sight, and it is one of the only insects able to turn its head nearly 180 degrees, tracking its victims without moving its body. It waits, perfectly camouflaged, a statue of deadly intent. Prey wanders into range. The attack is one of the fastest in the animal kingdom. In a fraction of a second, its raptorial front legs shoot out, snagging the victim with rows of sharp spikes. There is no escape. But unlike the spider, the mantis has no venom. Its method is far more direct. Gripping its struggling victim, it simply begins to eat it alive, often starting with the head. It's a chilling display of efficiency. A predator that doesn't need poison when its grip is absolute and its mandibles are relentless. Our next killer belongs to one of the most diverse groups of animals on Earth. They are the living tanks of the insect world, the beetles. Their defining feature is their hardened front wings, called elytra, which act as a formidable shield, protecting them from both predators and the elements. But this armor doesn't just serve defense, it allows them to barge through dense undergrowth and soil in relentless pursuit of prey. Predatory beetles are a varied guild of hunters. 
ground beetles are tireless pursuers, patrolling the forest floor with powerful, clamping mandibles. Rove beetles are fast, flexible killers that wriggle into tight spaces, often holding their abdomens aloft like scorpions. And some, like the ladybug, are specialized assassins dedicated to devouring pests like aphids. Their primary weapons are their powerful mandibles, which they use to crush, cut, and dismember their victims. Beetles prove that sometimes, the best offense is a good, impenetrable defense. These mini monsters operate with a brutal efficiency that's hard to wrap your head around. It makes you wonder, are these creatures just ruthless killers? or are they essential engineers of their environment? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe now and join the Explorer family. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.